Hey guys and gals, let's unbox, have a look at the bricks and pieces, and possibly build Creative Pastel Fun by Lego Classic. This is set number 11028 and contains 333 bricks full of fun and excitement. And yes, this is like a dream come true. I like seeing oddball colors in one set. <laughs> so it looks like we get to make some kind of angry cloud thing, a robot, an ice cream cone, and some shiny Lapras thing. <laughs> Yeah, okay. And ideas are included. I hope there's building instructions. Didn't it show the kitty on the front? Wow. This is all the eyes and stuff like that. Well, let's open it up and see what we have in here. And this set was provided to me by my parents, I think for Easter. Well, this should be a fun one. Okay, looks like everything's in one bag. Well, there's two bags and they're not numbered, so we just pour them all out. Well, there's three bags. And here's the building guide. And sadly, Lego is starting to do away with these. So we're all going to have to start using that goofy app unless they bring out PDF files. That just jumps right on in. So bag one to... Oh, they are numbers. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hang on to this. Leave it on this page here because that's important. And what I'm going to do is we're going to build it. We're going to unbox first, and we're going to take a look. Whoa. Let's see here. This one's not even numbered. Okay. All right, let's do the... Uh, how do we do this? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead. And this one's going to be a little weird. Let's go ahead... And we're going to make another best bag of two. All right, Lego, I don't need to harp on this, but uh, kind of sloppy here. Okay. And then we'll just do the miscellaneous bag and set it off to the side. I think that's just meant for, like, building whatever. Okay. And we'll just do the small one, too, while we're here. And, yes, looks like everything in here is printed. And, sadly, it's on the rare bricks, too. All right, let's see here. Right. Well, we've seen these a million times. Two by four, two by two white brick. Uh, they printed. No, but this piece is. Y'all remember the, the Yellow Beach House I did a review on probably over a decade ago. Yeah, <laughs> some of you saw the little happy face on the side of the house. Oh, these are in cool yellow. Can we get another one in there? These are pretty good for making arms of, of armchairs and backs of sofas. Cool, I can always use those. And that is, I think that's light aqua. I can't remember. Get several of these in two by four plates. And then here we have some one by... Two by one and two thirds brick with four studs on one side. I got a couple of those in my collection, and I was looking for a medium nougat two by four plate for a project. And well, here it is in this set. <laughs> oh, this one actually has what I need. Now oh, here we got one of these one by two bricks with a happy face. Oh, I thought there'd be a sad face on the back side, and a heart printed tile with an with a mouth. I'm sure there's probably another eye in there somewhere, and there's a mouth. And next time we'll have to open up the little bag separate, huh? So, oh, got any more of those in there? Yeah, I wonder if that's printed. Yeah, either it could be a, a, a like a nose or a part of a some lips or number three. I don't know. And what else do we have in here? Some of these little claw pieces. That's kind of an odd part to be in here. And cool yellow one by four brick. I'm always looking for this color. Well, it doesn't have a lot, but there it is. And some of these slopes. And I still need these slopes in tan. Well, we're getting close to that. And so antennas okay a couple of these well aren't these equivalent to these why don't they just make them like this and just give me two by two bricks huh. some 
reddish brown palisade bricks no bricks with holders um, okay i don't think i have any cheese slopes and cool yellow but i do have them in pink yeah and a couple of Oh, well, we got a two by two plate, a two by two rounded plate with cross hole. A couple of these weird round bricks with the one stud on top. Yeah, not too bad for bag one. Let's slide these over here and let's see what we have in here. And yes, for you, especially for you guys out there who don't like these type of pastel colors. Well, I'm probably one of the very few dudes out here that actually enjoys these type of parts. One of the very small few. And I can't remember if this is light magenta or light purple. I just always call it light purple. It's like you get a, plenty of these in 1x2 bricks. And we have a 2x6 plate. Pretty cool. Actually, there's a lot in there. And we got your typical white. But I don't have these in white. Okay, and some light royal brew bricks. Oh, a 2x4 brick in that color. I don't think I even have one of these in this color. So, let me get some of these 1x2 bricks with half bow and some 1x1 one one bricks with the one stud on the side. Pretty cool. And a 2x3 plate in that color as well. And... A two by eight plate. I was actually looking for some of those, not in that color, but oh, we got another one of those little mouthpieces, some brackets. Looks like we got some eyes. Yeah, uh, yeah. and some of these one by one by two thirds plate with the bow. I'm always looking for those. Those are always cool. And we got some one by two bricks here that are. Don't have a mouth. There's another one of those things, and some one by two bricks with the one stud. And these are always handy, especially if you want to mount lights on something, something you want to offset. And yeah, so especially for you guys out there who are terrified of these pastel colors, you know this set's got some pretty unique pieces and some oddball colors that I could use. And there we are with some of these. Uh, what is this? A one by three by two. Uh, brick with bow. There we go. Uh, there's another one of those. Yeah, not too bad for bag two. Let's push this off to the side here. Now let's do this little bag here. And my apologies if you hear noise in the background. There is nothing I can do about that right now. Uh, it could be worse. I could be playing piano music in these. Although I know more people prefer that. <laughs> but I'm not going to get into that rant. So we get some more printed one by one flat tiles. I got a start or some more of those eyes. Let's see what else we have in here. It's like this is just more of an accessory pack. But it was an unnumbered bag. So unnumbered bag number one. That's what I'm going to call it. And some more of these one by one by two thirds plate with the bow. Some of these cheese slopes. I could always use these for making cardboard boxes. Matter of fact, there's just enough here to make flaps for one box. Okay, we get five of those. A couple of black aerials. Get a couple more of those. And some one by one bricks with one stud on the side. And I need to get a few of those. Wait a minute, this set may have just what I need, including the one that fell on the floor. And yeah, there's four of those, and there's a couple of the pink ones in there. So that's pretty good. And yeah, I think a lot of dudes out there are going to be terrified of this set, so I'll, <laughs> I'll probably get a bunch of unsubs for that. But it's got some nice angular 2x2 two two flat tiles or wedge tiles. And good for making vintage bathrooms and stuff like that. And there's some of these little claw pieces. And those are flats, uh, not flat, pearl silver. Maybe use those to make a rake or something. So, yeah, so so far that's miscellaneous bag one. So this is going to be the mid-miscellaneous bag number two. Unnumbered bag. I don't know what I'm going to 
index it as, but I can mix these up because they're all, you know. <laughs> all right, so now we're getting to the big stuff now. Remember when I was building my campground, and I needed some of these. And that's in medium nougat. Yeah. There we go right there. I was afraid I was going to run out of those. Well, I got plenty in this set right here. Great for terrain. So we get one by ones and well, one by one bricks with one stud. I can always use those. And one by two and two by twos. And oh, we've seen two by two reddish brown plates before. And we and white. And there we go. There's some of those. And 45 degree two by two slopes. Got a few of those in there. And what else? Plenty of one by one bricks of various colors. We get pink, white. Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> and we got some of these slopes in that color too. Uh, two by two slopes. And yes, I always like, I always go bonkers over oddball colors. Uh, especially when I was a kid, these colors didn't even exist, like cool yellow. Or this aqua blue color. And one by one, one by two, and one by four bricks in this color. May have to pick a couple of these up to make a house out of there. If they had a one by three, you could practically do a whole bunch of stuff with that, huh? Yeah. Oh, here's some of these with the mouths on them. So when we're building this, yeah, we'll have to. So this basically is like a parts pack, is what it is. And I'm checking for mouths and stuff like that. Here's some two by three plates in that blue color. Pretty cool. And some one by two jumper plates. I don't think I even have these. I think I have cool yellow, but not the jumper plates in this color. All right, that's a good find right there. And more of these. Got a couple more of these type of bricks right here with the one stud on the side. Not too bad. And there's another one of those. That's not too bad there for that miscellaneous bag. And I'm going to slide that over and we're going to do this one here. And this one's packed full of the big stuff. One thing good about these classic sets, they give you a bunch of the big bricks that, you know, a lot of us grew up with when we were kids. But if you can tell, the only color that I've seen here that's pretty much normal is the white color. Well, we've seen these a million times. You get 2x8s and 4x4s and 2x4 bricks in that color. Well, yeah, that's not a really exciting color there. Do I need white? Yeah, I'm always still looking out for it. There's one of these 1x2 bricks with the clip on the side. There's a 1x3x2 by by brick with bow. 6x8 plate. Pretty good. And well, we got some more of this stuff. Okay, now I got that color out of the way. <laughs> now let's dive right in. We got plenty of medium nugget 2x4 bricks. And I had a hard time finding these for the campground. We got some 1x4s. Alright, and we got 2x4 plate in that color. That was a very rare piece to find, and I have two of those in there. That's not bad for this color. Then we have the cool yellow. We got two by twos and some two by two inverted 45 degree slopes. Looks like we got a couple of those there. Two by four bricks in that color. I don't think you even have two by four bricks in that color. And we got some one by three by three column bricks. There's some more of these one by two by one and two thirds brick with the two studs. Yeah, we get too many. I can't even hold on to those, but we get a bunch of those. And here we are with a light purple, 2x2, two 2x4s, two and 1x4s, 2x6 plate. Yeah, yeah, good prime building parts. But I know somebody's going to go, well, Jay, those are, those are not really appealing colors. Well, for me, they are. <laughs> some of us older builders. All right, we got some pink, your guy's favorite out there. Yeah, I'll get some... 2x2, two 2x4, by two, two by and 1x4s in that color, and some of these. Yeah, well, not too bad. And then we have the, the light aqua. 
I got two by two and two by four. Well, what would you use this color for? It's really kind of bright to be using for a building. Anybody's ever watched Miami Vice or anybody remembers uh, Miami Beach, Florida? Some of their buildings use these colors, like you know, on Miami Beach. Great accent colors if you want to get into that type of mock building. I uh, got plenty of those. And those are why I always look for those oddball colors. It's easy to replicate those old style builds. So this set does have a lot of those. Let's just build this stuff in this installment. This is going to be one large video. <laughs> and my apologies if you can't handle the scratchy noise on the second unboxing. I'm, I, I'm sorry I forgot to hit the record button on the phone for the recorder. Um, you just have to live with it. And now we're going to start with bag one, um, which is a couple of creatures. And, Jay, well, if you're going to part this out, why do you build this stuff? Just for fun, you know, just have fun with this, you know. I already build enough complicated things, so let's just simplify it up a bit, you know. Until I just got done writing up some nasty computer program that really took about a, a few months to complete for a client. And I just got it done, got done with the meeting, got it proved. Yeah, so I'm done with that. <laughs> that that project there. Now I can do the fun stuff. Now this set is obviously targeted for younger builders, but sometimes, even as an adult, I enjoy putting this type of stuff together because this is stuff that I built when I was a kid. You know, there's nothing wrong with this at all. You know, and like I said, I'll know I'll get some unsubs on this video because this is not a a very complicated Lego City set. It's not a mock or a tutorial by me any means, but you know. But believe it or not, though, these sets have really good inspiration power. You know, you can get some good ideas just by even just by looking at the bricks. Yeah, so this is our little ice cream cone, I think. And, and, of course, if you don't like these colors, you could always change them out to the colors of your needs. You know, there's nothing that's going to tell you have to use these colors on these models. Oh, this one uses a full eye. Do we have any full eyes in there? Oh, they use the heart eyes. <laughs> Alrighty, well, stick those in there, huh? I can never get those on straight, but that's one. And yeah, that one's upside down. You can put them any way you want. And there's always that thing, you know, some people say, I have to follow the instructions. No, you don't. <laughs> it's Lego. You don't have to. Lego is, for me, is, a, is a, an art medium. So for me, doing, building stuff like this, you know, like I said, it's just for inspiration purposes. And we're not done with that yet. And any more onto that? Yeah, that's it. It's a little ice cream cone. Or whatever you want it to be. That's cool nonetheless. Put that over here. And then we will do the next one in here. Which I think is the little robot. Jay, those sets are targeted for little kids. Yeah, well today this set is rated for adults. <laughs> And, you know, a lot of people misconstrue this channel as being for kids. No, this is for adults. You know, this is my way of relaxing. You know, I don't, you know, I'm already on the computer 10 hours a day looking at a screen. You know, I don't want to, okay, I'm done. Now I can go look at the screen some more. I can't do that too much. And we gotta put some eyes on this. Oh, 
how they're upside down. I'll tell you, putting these little round tiles on when you uh, when your hands are tired and yeah, <laughs> it becomes a little bit of a challenge there. There we go. Oh, I did have a comment though asking about why is it my channel really popular? Why don't I have thousands of comments a day? Honestly, do you want me to have a thousand or so comments a day? It would be so congested I wouldn't have time to read everybody's comments. I may not respond back as swiftly like I used to, but I can still read everyone's comments. If the channel was popular, I would not be able to have that time to do that. I probably would put a cap. I may have to in the future, but usually the comments I get are usually like, wow, cool, thank you for sharing, you know, nothing wrong with those. And then there's the spam bots. <laughs> I gotta get through all those. Never fun to read those, I just block those accounts. And there's your robot. Well, not too bad. That's probably somewhat a little large for minifigure scale, but still, nonetheless, it's pretty cool. And so, got parts in this bag. Let's build this one right here. And I think this might be the kitten. I don't know. It was the only one that wasn't showed on the front of the box, was it? Was I not paying attention? Yeah, they didn't even show the little kitten. Oh, that's kind of mean. That kitten was waiting patiently to be displayed on the box, and it never happened. Yeah, so all these oddball colors in here are going to come in handy for building uh, mostly uh, interior stuff. There's not a whole lot to build an actual building out of this, if that's what you're looking for. But, you know, for me, it's always fun. And yeah, once Lego starts getting rid of the paper manuals, uh, it's if it's in PDF form, there's always been talk about it. If it's in PDF form, I'm fine with it. But if it's using that goofy Lego 3D app, I, and there was a comment, I think, on my second channel, and I can't, my apologies if I can't remember your name, but you did mention why doesn't Lego, you know, release just a PDF? Why are we stuck with that? weird app and two this lady gentleman mentioned that he or she had a, an old tablet like I do mine are all older models I'm not running out and buying a, a new tablet just to build Lego guides I may have to do that but but this person mentioned, though, about why don't they put it on Mac and and Windows and stuff like that. I don't know. I, would, I wouldn't mind having my laptop right next to me. Matter of fact, I could just set up a screen, a touch screen, right here and just thumb through the thing. It'd be faster. Matter of fact, I could even port it into the video, and you can just follow along with the building instructions. I don't know if that would violate their copyright or not, but... Nonetheless, it seems like that would be pretty cool. Okay, they're using these for whiskers. That's what those are for. A kitten with steel whiskers. <laughs> but yeah, I do agree, though, about that. You know, if we're going to do th if we're gonna do the manuals, I want to be able to download and have a backup. Because all my manuals, about 99% of them I back up in my own little servers. Just for my own personal reference. And then I take those manuals, including the ones that I write up, just to know what parts are in each build. So there was a question asked, Jay, do you have an itemized list of what sets have what parts? Yes, for my personal use, I do. It's like after I'm done with this, all the parts that are in this set will get put into my database. So if I'm looking for a specific part, it'll tell me what sets and mocks use that part. And that's how I know. <laughs> and 
And there we go, that's the little kitten. Actually, it's a nice color scheme for that little kitten, too. Pretty cool. Okay, now we're going to take a look at bag two. And this is what we have remaining for bag one. And I'm just going to toss these in that big pile of bricks. You know. And yeah. So wait, Jay, you have everything cataloged. So you know what mocks you, what builds, what sets. Yes. Every set that I've ever bought has been logged into a database. And then what I do is, if I need to find a part, like what set has this part, I can look it up. And I'm trying to find ways to do that on Patreon so a user can access that information as well. And they can just look up a set. Hey, I got all these sets. But any kind of building guide that I've been writing up from my, from my um, building guide collection, it makes it easier. So if I need to find something, I can find what set that part came, came out of. You know, like if I'm looking for this piece here, I know what sets it has. But these are only sets that I have that in my collection. Your collection will vary. It just makes it easy for me if I need to find a part. <laughs> I don't want to go through literally uh, thousands upon thousands of parts just to to do that. And I think it's going to be easier if I put the little tiles on before the big tile. Making sure the phone's recording. Could have been worse. I could be the quality could be lacking on the tutorials, and I don't know when this set's going to be released though. But I just got done writing up the building instructions for the tiny house. So if you're on Patreon. You should be able to pretty much have access to that. I think it had 562 bricks. So you do not have to go through and have to find all those parts through the video. You can just. You can just, matter of fact, I even provide, what was it, that thing I provide, that list for the BrickLink? So you can just take the BrickLink list and just pop it in your search, and it'll populate everything up with all those parts. Well, that's it. I don't know. Well, all right. I don't know what we're doing here, but... Matter of fact, they should bring out Coral and put Coral in here, huh? Matter of fact, they have Coral... And then they have that really bright neon yellow. Now we just need them to bring out some bright green and blue. <laughs> and there you go. Maybe one day they'll have one of those kind of packs. I think they already have one out. I don't know. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Janet or somebody had mentioned. Yeah, moms know best. They always pick out the best stuff. That's true. I think my mom was the one that picked this out for me. My dad's not too much into Lego. There you go, that looks pretty cool. And let's see here. That's it. Not too bad. And we're going to do the shiny Lapras thing. All right. I don't know what it's called. Some kind of sea creature. Yeah, this has got some really nice parts in here, too. Really nice parts. I know somebody's going to snub their nose to it. Probably walks right by it in the store. But this was given to me as a gift. It's not meant to be a review. Well, I'm reviewing it anyways. Uh, my family knows I do these things. So they say you could review away on it. And I'm looking at, is it keeping my interest? And yes, it is actually keeping my interest. Matter of fact, this is a nice soothing build. It's not something strenuous or anything like that. Especially after that software I've written up and doing stuff like this is easy. You know, this is something that's not too terribly bad. You know. 
I know, I know some of my viewers want the more complicated stuff, but sometimes you want to simplify it down. And then this goes. So it's kind of like some kind of sea creature, maybe a Loch Ness monster, but I call it a Lapras, a shiny one. And then we put the legs at the bottom. And these are just your simple brick-built figures. We've all built these when we were kids, just for fun. And that is it, and that's the only remaining there. Not too bad. And that's what they're supposedly look like on the book. And looks like we have other alternative models here as well. Probably from those pieces there. And, you know... You know what I could do? These are so simple. Why don't we just build these just off the picture and see if we could do it? Let's just do that on here right now. Okay, so let's set these up right here and I'll show you what we've done. Sorry about the angle here, but this is just meant to be a crude video. And that's what we've done with bags one and two. So I'm going to set these back here, and these will be ready for the thumbnail later on. And we're just going to copy off the picture here, and we're going to build whatever's left here. So now most kids, including some of us adults, can pretty much visualize how these are built. So we're going to start building these right now here. Let's see if I can do this. These are pretty simple, so I don't think they're going to be too hard to do. Now, I'm just building right off the picture, nothing else. And the pieces should be included with these two. So this is going to be for index and pur purposes. Uh, the alternative models, or they want, you, they want me to download the building guide for this, and I'm sure they're probably available on, through PDF. But the manual didn't tell me that. You know, before we put the nose on there, I'm looking for the stars. We're going to have to find those. Got to get a little comfortable here. <laughs> All these parts are way over here. Oh, there's one. Let's see the other one. Alrighty. Now this could be, I was going to say this could be a shark, but it's got legs. So obviously it's not a shark. And I'd go OCD if that wasn't on straight enough. Oh, yes, this is Autism Awareness Month. There we go. And yes, yours truly does have that. <laughs> Probably why I like doing Lego. It's a good art medium. And no, Lego is not my obsession. And I don't know. It's I don't know what this is. It could be a fish, too, but it's got legs. So maybe it's a pig with a fin. I don't know. That I could tell is obviously a car. No, it's a dinosaur. Let's see what we got in here. Then we have a 4x4 four four plate. So why didn't they include these? Or have a link. Is there a link that says you could download more? Not one? Not a, not a QR code or anything? It just has one for winning, but I don't know. All right, so it looks like... What I can tell, obviously it's probably through on the other side. I'm looking for a 1x4 brick. If not, um, maybe there's a... I thought I saw one when I was doing the unboxing. Oh, there it is. Well, Jay, wouldn't it be easier if you download the building guide? Yeah, it would be, but then again, it wouldn't be so challenging, huh? There's only one size of these. So, I don't, they didn't provide me with a 1x2. And the tail is going to be well, not too bad. I can tell you now that's a 1x8 plate. We have one of those. So, let me grab that real quick. And, guys and gals, if you're getting into mock building and you're scared, you don't know where to start, you know, when you get to this level, that's what you're looking at here when you get into mock building. Sometimes you're not going to have a printed building guide in front of you. Sometimes images in your head will pop up just like this. Okay? That's fine. 
because like for myself, I just start building. Now I can tell that this next piece is a two by two. And then we stick this two by four here and there's a clip that goes on the front. And that's how I assume, I'm just guessing here. Okay, and this goes on here like that. And so far, yeah, it looks just like the picture. <laughs> Well, Jay, how do you know like this? There's no instructions. How do you know? I can just see it. If you, like I said, get into mock building. You'll start. You'll, you start understanding what the designers are going for, and you, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I can see it. I can't just tell you though. Um, I can see it in my mind. Plus, I'm counting the studs too. But you know, I kind of assume that that's what would go there. And yeah, I mean, it's just like it. Just, just take a breath and just take a look at it and see it with your mind. One of my viewers, Dan, actually enjoys these type of colors, too. Um, well, that's the regular white one there. I think it's because him and I, uh, well, he's a little, he's a little older than I am, but I think we grew up in that generation where we just had the five or six colors in Lego. And that's all we had. You know, we didn't have this. We didn't have these colors. <laughs> you know, these colors just simply just didn't exist. And I mean, building something out of cool yellow, you know, 20 years ago, maybe, but 40 years ago, especially for someone like myself, these colors just didn't exist when I was a kid. They just were not around. 50 years ago, Lego was, they didn't have that many colors to begin with. And then, 60 years ago, Lego was Lego came out in the 60s. So, it's, it was a wooden toy before that, but nothing like this. It looks like we're missing a piece here. It's like it's supposed to be a 1x2 brick, but I don't see another one of those. I got these. Oh, I got the column ones. Did... Do I have to rip apart a model to finish the job? I don't remember seeing any on this little kitten here. Okay, if not, then that's the end of the show. No, it came with one. There we go. I was going to say, because the first one we built, and then we got ourselves... I don't know what kind of dinosaur this is, but yeah, and they used a the little claw, and there's this little front paws, and then, yeah. And honestly, though, this set here would be a really good build. And it's not marked on here, but this one here, multiple multiple people could build at one time on here. So if you've got, like, a daycare, this set would be perfect for daycare, a daycare setting. That means a lot of people, a lot of kids could jump in and build this here. They can jump right on in and build all at once. So everybody can build their own little creature. You know, their own little setting. Or somebody's going to have to fight over some of the animals, but <laughs> this is probably some kind of rock thing that they have here. So I just built that. We already did him. So now we got this bird airplane thing. Well, let's get onto that. Yeah, so for those who frown upon these sets, these are still good for family builds too, you know. So I want to, like I said, how many unsub? How many people are going to unsub because I built this? <laughs> and later on, I'll get that old question asked, Jay, where do you get these weird parts from? Well, that's for me to know. All right, I'm looking for some of those one by one bricks here. And no, I'm not complaining. These are always fun to put together. Matter of fact, I'm overflowing on these angular or these bricks with the studs on the side. And at one time I was buying a bunch of those because I was like, oh, the, you never know, Lego's going to discontinue them. I can't really tell what goes on the back of that there, but I'm assuming it's probably a one by one or a one by two brick. Okay, something like that. And that's going to be hard to put those eyes in there. Let's see if we can get those in there. Now, I'm not a big fan of these printed eye pieces. I don't, 
I honestly I don't use them in my style of builds. Let's just take that out, straighten it out on here. Um, I don't buy the eye pieces. I don't use them any of my mocks. Maybe someday I just don't use them. I'm not into making creatures, but they'd still be good for, you know, nonetheless for other builds. I don't know if there's anybody out there who who watches these and builds creatures. Oh, they would look good for video game creatures if you're reproducing like um, video game sprites. And that's one possibility you could use these for. The, the sprites. And there's a two by three plate. We saw plenty of bricks here too. Let's see, maybe we have more here. This probably might be a long video, but you know, there we go. I don't know what that is, a fly or something? I mean, you know, what does that do? All right, let's see. Is there any more information in here? Well, we got customer service on the book. And you can scan this with your thing. No QR codes, huh? Well, let's check the box real quick, because I'm not going to have to go hunt this down. I will leave that up for your imagination to finish up. Yeah, it just says ideas are included, but doesn't tell you what the other bricks are for. I'm assuming it's probably just to enhance stuff, or you can build other things as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much what this set is. It's a good little time waster set. And, too, we got a nice set of parts. And if you build all the stuff on the front of the page, you get to build yourself some Firefly. Um, well, this could be an anteater. I don't know what that is. A robot, a piece of rock, shiny Lapras, a kitten. Some rainbow cloud thing, rainbow bright, a dinosaur. And a little ice cream cone with a happy face that's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> so that's nine builds, five of which you can build right out of the building guide. So I don't know why they didn't include the rest of this. I don't know. But honestly, though, just for this being what it is, I enjoyed putting this together. So let's just dive right into the review of build quality. Well, nothing was really falling off. So I'm going to say these are pretty sturdy. So the build quality is pretty good. Uh, build ex Experience, just despite of it being a very basic brick set, it kept my interest. It's a good little set to just kind of pass the time away, especially if you're, you know, doing something that's work-related and you're tired of staring at a screen. Here you go. This is something fun to bring you back to your childhood, especially if you're an adult. And so on. Now, you could probably put these in your Lego city, but they look kind of odd, unless you're making some kind of Lego land theme park. Now, these would work. You'd have to use your imagination a bit on those. But other than that, honestly, these are really nice. And I enjoy putting this together all around. So if you find this set, it's honestly a good set to get, especially for parts, you know, for the pastels. And it's the Creative Pastel Fun by Lego Classics, set number 11028. Tell me what you think in the comments below if you, if you made it this far. Honestly, this is a nice little adorable set. Very cute.